Hi everyone, welcome to the Espada Negra channel. My name is Rui, and today I'm going to talk to you about this one. I'm not sure if you guys can see it over there. I'm doing the best I can to just edit, get it in shots. Okay, this is the Kvetten or Kvetten. Um, I like to call it the Capoferro rapier. Okay, and this is a saw that I got recently and I'll give you guys more context as to why I got this one specifically. Um, so, first things first, a few things to get out of the way first, like I did in the previous video. I'm not being, uh, being sponsored by Kvetten, Kvetten, not sure how to pronounce their name, so again, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, I'm not sponsored by them, I did work with them. This one I did get specifically for free, as a prize, for a contest that I entered back in late 2017, I think? 2017? I believe it was 2017 where they were asking us, uh, the community, the Hamer community, to come up with the new, their new rapier model, if you will. Um, however, to talk about this sword, I will need to talk about a couple of other swords first. So I'm going to save this one for last, and it's like a, a switcheroo. It's going to be a review of this sword, but again, context. I'm going to need to talk about two other two other ones first. The first one I'm going to talk about is this. It's their previous cup. I think it's still their current cup hilt model. I'm not entirely sure. I will need to check the website again. This is a uh, saw that I got. I think it was 2018. So right after the contest, I decided to buy a couple of their rapiers just to see how their previous models would compare to the the current model that they have. So this is the cup hilt model that I um, purchased. Very nice for a cup hilt. I'm not a fan of cup hilts. Don't ask why. Um, I'm Portuguese, so, you know, logic would dictate that I would be doing something close to Destreza. Instead, I practice Capoferro Rapier. So Italian Rapier, that's where my jam is. Uh, so, very lovely sword. Tip uh, is uh, rounded. Okay, not sure if you guys can see there. It's rounded. It's a rounded tip. No fuller on the blade. Blade is very flexible. Very, very flexible. So very safe for tournaments, if that's what you're after. Uh, but hilt it rattles a little bit it got a couple of um received a couple of blows from the current one that i have which is very sturdy so this one is rattling a little bit the front quill and i'm not sure if you guys can see there it's a little bit bent uh, again due to a cut uh, overall it's a very nice cup hilt if you're aiming to do cup hilt i'm not one to judge cup hilt, okay i'm not really that uh, that much of a fan or I'm not going to be able to, to go too much in depth on this particular model. It feels okay. It's a little bit too front heavy, so there's a lot of weight on the, on the front. I think it's more than 13 centimeters. I would have to check. Again, I have specs for all of these swords, and I'm going to put them over the video because it, I think it's just better for me to just uh, show you guys how they were commissioned or how the plans were drawn rather than me talking about numbers that, you know, I don't think that's going to be making for a very interesting video. Uh, in any case, um, I will make a roundup general overview of the three swords in the end. But for the time being, this sword, again, pretty safe. Um, in terms of thrust-wise, hand protection, all of that, it's very nicely built. Um, but yeah, not my cup of tea. I do like their pommel. This pommel, I do like it a lot. Uh, but yeah, the, the hilt is rattling. I think it happens with virtually every um, cup hilt, they end up, you know, rattling a little bit. It's an easy fix. They have uh, two little screws here that I can just tighten that up and they'll be good as new. Uh, on the inside, I'm not really sure if you guys can see it on the inside there, I'm doing the best I can here. But yes, they do tighten to the rings of the rapier. Uh, the rings of the hilt, sorry, that is. So overall, again, nice, reliable, thrusty sword. Much like all of Kvitan's work, it will last for a very long time. Uh, edge damage, it's nil. Like, there is absolutely no edge damage whatsoever. And, you know, if I'm using it for Capoferro Rapier, there will be some cutting involved. But even so, edge damage is pretty much nothing. Or insignificant. I, I'm, I'm passing the fingers through it and I can't feel anything. And I've used this for... for basically all of my rapier sparring. Um, so yeah, lovely sword. 
I quite like it. It's uh, 1027 kilograms, so it's very light, but it feels very forward heavy because of the weight on the blade. The blade is not fullered. Um, but yeah, I think there is not really much to add to this one. I'll add the specs over. Um, so yeah, this is one of the this is one this was one of the blades that I got to try and compare it to what the most recent model would look like. One thing, however, this blade, and I'm, I don't think I can show it up on video, uh, especially here on this part, it you know got snagged on the hilt uh, of another saw that I have, the other rapier that I have, and uh, it got set. So the steel got set. Okay, so that is a bit annoying. Doggo smelling swords. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, it, it got bent there. It got set. There is no way that I can turn this around that I can just, you know, um, make it straight again. This is just how it is. It's ev Eventually, it is going to happen with a couple of swords. And that is it. So this is their cup hilt right here. I don't think they changed much on the model. Uh, so the other model that I want to talk about is this one, which I believe is their current Type 2 rapier. Okay, very lovely swept hilt. I believe the blade is about the same as the other one. This one needs a little bit more touching up because I think it's... Yeah, I haven't used it in a while. Um, overall, blade flex is about the same. They have the same blade, I believe, this one and the other one. It's tipped. Again, no rattling, no issues whatsoever. Main concerns, and then again, I wouldn't say concerns, it's just personal preference. Their hilts are a bit wide, so they are a bit large. If I'm using a light glove, this one has an open port. Uh, it's not uncommon for me to receive uh, thrusts inside a hand. Either I'm, you know, a terribly poor fencer, or I'm just getting stabbed in the hand a lot through the port. You know, it's a more linear uh, style, so it is bound to happen. So if, if the hilts could be, you know, slightly tightened, uh, slightly more tight, then I think that would be a plus. Then again, I do understand why they do it, because if you want to, you know, if you want to use a, a heavier glove on this, I'm not sure why would you, why would you use it, but I mean, uh, for, for each, the, to, to each their own, uh, you can fit a pretty, a fairly large glove in this one. Uh, overall... Again, I do like this pommel a lot, and you'll notice this. I like this pommel a lot, and I like the, also the other pommel quite a lot as well. Um, this one, again, it fits the purpose. Very light as well. So I think this is 1,027 grams. And the blade length, uh, again, I'm going to put it up on the screen. I think it's 1113, so 113 centimeters from Quillens to the tip. Okay, which again fairly long, or at least longer than one meter on a meter and ten, um, but perfect for, for Capoferro Rapier. However, not perfect enough. And this is where I want to bring up my crown jewel, at least my seal crown jewel, which would be this one. And this one is the model that I indeed received for free as part of the prize for winning that, that, um, that competition they had. It, it took them quite a while to make it. I think they were trying to narrow down the blade. This blade is fullered. It shares the same amount of flex, so it is very flexible, very flexible indeed. It is a four ring hilt, or three ring hilt, I'm not sure if you want to count that one, but whatever, it's it's a ring hilt, swept hilt again. I asked them to bend the quillens. I asked them for a bunch of things that I didn't, they didn't do it. And well, I suppose it's fine. It is a free sword after all, so I'm not one to complain. Um, so things about this sword that I would like changed, uh, things about this sword that I find perfect, and why do I like it so much? So this is 114 centimeters from Quillens to the tip of the blade. Tip of the blade is rounded. I would prefer spatulated. I request it spatulated, but you know, I, I just don't like them, you know, with a rounded tip just because I don't want those freaky accidents where they just snap the, um, the tip off. But that's usually, it usually happens more with feathers than it does with, with rapiers. Uh, more about this blade in particular. All of these swords have a very long grip. I understand why. Again, if you want to use a, a heavier glove, you can use a heavier glove. Uh, personally, I don't like it. Okay, I like the blade, I like the hilts to be fairly small, uh, even though I have fairly large hands. So 
ideally for me would be nine, ten centimeters to use with a light glove, a light leather glove. All of the all of the hilts here that I've shown are roughly thirteen to fourteen centimeters, which make them makes them fairly long, even with the pommel. Uh, so by grip, I am talking about obviously the grip plus the pommel. So that's total. I would prefer nine. Nine is the one that I have on my Black Fence uh, synthetic rapier, and that is perfect. Um, more things about this one in particular. I don't like this pommel. Don't ask me why. It actually sits nicely on the hand. But I don't know why. It's something, something feels not right. Again, not going to be one to complain. This sword is actually perfect in comparison to the other, to the other two. So in, in addition to being marginally longer, so 114 centimeters from quillant to tip, uh, weight is around 1,200 and something, if not 1,300, which bang on weight for a for um, a 1600 rapier, uh, particularly for for, Capo, for for what we do with Capo Faro. Um, weight is marginally uh, sorry, point of balance is marginally short. Again, I will put the um, the, the specs over the video and design of the hilt. This is a personal preference. I would have removed the front quillen, okay, so make it like this, and I would have this completely twisted. Uh, again, if you guys want to, I can show you the um, the current um, Black Fencer one that I have, a uh, synthetic version. Um, overall, hilt, a bit meaty. It is quite large. Okay, again, if I want to fit a larger glove, I can, I most definitely can, but if I'm using a light glove, it may... It, makes for a lot of openings to get thrust and to get thrust in fortunately it didn't happen with this one thankfully and i hope it doesn't um again maybe i'm a terrible fencer hmm i'll have to check up on that uh however getting thrust on the hand with this one hasn't happened yet i hope it doesn't hilt a little bit larger grip a little bit larger it's like everything is a little bit larger than it should uh except for the the blade which is very nice i really like this blade um like the other two rapiers and like everything from Creighton, it I'm not I'm not sure I don't want to say this in, in sounding insulting because it isn't okay it's it's a very nice thing they are robust every sword that they that I've handled from them feels robust feels sturdy feels you can feel this industrial um, feel to them not taking away again the craftsmanship because they are wonderful blacksmiths but it feels sturdy it feels rigid it feels solid um, it doesn't feel flimsy or that it's going to break anytime soon. You can use them uh, without any fear of, uh, of anything happening to, to the blade or to the hilt. So I really like that. It, it feels safe in the hands, not just you know, defending and also attacking. This one already broke another sword. Um, it, it received a cut. Uh, I parried on the outside, so it received a cut right around here on, on the outside. No dents whatsoever, both on the... Um, on the blade and on the hilt and it broke the other blade i mean i don't like you know breaking swords i parry the cut and the other the other blade was already a little bit damaged and a little bit worn uh, but i parried and as i parried received the cut and the and the other sword broke the other blade broke unfortunate uh but it speaks volumes about you know the sturdiness of, of a cretin uh, sword so zero damage whatsoever nothing not, not even a dent from from that cut and it was a very powerful cut and i just had to parry on the outside um more things about this sword uh i don't think there is much to say i quite like this one because it absolutely fits uh everything that i've wanted in a rapier uh, with the sole exception again of the the whole hilt section, if it could be a little bit more condensed, that would be perfect. Um, overall, thank yous. So, massive thank you to Alex from Kveten. He, he made this possible. Uh, again, brilliant craftsmanship from from Kveten overall. Uh, massive thank you to Nick Thomas of the Academy of Historical Fencing for providing me the specs uh, and helping me, you know, draw up the the, the full sheet that that won the design. And also massive thank you to, to, to Greg Watson for also inspiring me to do this uh, this blade. We we competed, we competed. I don't want to say competed because we didn't actually comp competed, um, but we came up with fairly similar designs. 
again popularity contest uh, my design won thank you to all the community as well for voting on, on this design um, but yeah we, we competed fairly similar specs because we both do capoeira rapier and uh, yeah mine won very happy thank you Kvaiten. thank you to the to the community for, for allowing me to have this this magnificent sword and yeah this is Kvaiten's rapier I will add some footage I think I can even add, add the footage of that blade breaking to the end of the video uh, if not it will be uploaded on the channel as well so overall lovely three pad of swords this one is by far my favorite okay everything about this sword just feels right the handling feels right the balance is brought a little bit back so let me see if I can show you guys so I am terrible at measuring so you can take your conclusions from this one on this point of balance and I'm going to show you the other swept tilts on the wear and balances as well it balances a lot far forward so as you can see in comparison to the other one this one balances a lot far forward the other one just feels a lot better this feels heavier even though it is a lighter sword so this again like i said 1200 1027 grams versus 1300 grams and this one somehow feels lighter because you have all the weight distributed more on the hilt and it just allows you for more uh, for better point control than this one again both wonderful swords but this one just takes the prize that just takes the gold actually lovely sword Okay, so again, mind you, I hope I covered everything that I wanted to on, on all these three swords. If you feel like I, um, if there's anything to improve, again, feel free to comment. Feel free to write up if you guys have any questions regarding all of these three swords that I've shown you. Uh, I will be also reviewing uh, Black Fence's um, synthetic rapiers. Those are the ones that I have so far. I do have one steal from them, which I will also review in due time. And... Again, I hope you guys enjoyed the setting as well, and I'll be seeing you in future videos. Ciao for now, feel free to subscribe and like as well.